Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. On this video, a completely non-sponsored, non-funded review and test of this Bosch cordless 18 volt power washer. I picked this up from Amazon in the UK. I bought it on one of their weekend deals a few months ago, but I have checked the price today and £254. So yeah, you are gonna pay possibly twice the price than a mains corded power washer. Of course, that's for the convenience of having it battery powered and being totally portable. It says that it's got a maximum pressure of 20 bar, which is quite a lot. That's about 280, 290 PSI. Well, I'm not sure about that. We'll test that in a moment. My main use for this power washer is going to be washing my car in winter. In the UK, they use shed loads of road salt and I wanna be able to wash all that off. For that purpose, I bought the additional adapter which allows you to use detergent, soap, snow foam, things like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought that was a bit of a rip-off to be honest. It stung a little bit. Normally with things like Karcher and other generic power washers, you can buy a detergent bottle that clips on the front. Not expensive, £12-13. Pounds. This one is unique to the Bosch system. You have to buy this one, £27. Pounds. And it's all made of plastic. I haven't even opened it yet, but I, that just stung a little bit. I think that was a bit of a rip-off. And considering this is a premium product, I would have been a lot happier if that would have been supplied, but unfortunately not. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this um, outside, we'll have a look what's in the box, then we'll fill it up with some warm water, fill up the washer bottle, and then we'll give it a test. We'll see what it's like washing the car. So stick with the video. If you've seen someone open a box once, you've seen it a hundred times, so gonna speed this up. But just to say that the product itself is nicely packed inside the box with cardboard that you can recycle or not horrible pieces of polystyrene. As far as operating instructions go there are some pictures on the inside of the flap of the box that are quite useful and you get your generic Bosch operating instructions, uh, more safety information than user advice. And then there was this leaflet, this shows that the power washer is compatible with other Bosch battery products. So I got my electric drill out of the shed and yeah sure enough the 18 volt batteries are exactly the same. That's really, really useful. The power washer uses a 2.5 amp hour. My drill is one and a half, but it will take between one and six amp hour batteries. So very useful if you've got other battery powered Bosch products. Also in the box is a very basic battery charger. The battery does come with some charge already in it. It takes about three hours to fully charge the battery. And we have this uh, input nozzle with a filter which is a good idea. And then we have the hose itself, four meters in length. We have reasonable quality, not the best, but not the worst either. Moving on to the washer itself. Without any water in it, it's pretty light. I think anyone should be able to pick this up. The carrying handle is extendable and there are wheels on the bottom to move it around. This would be especially important once you've got water in the tank. And it's rather like one of your sort of baggages that you would have or going on holiday like hand luggage on the back of the unit at the bottom there is a compartment for the battery yeah, a little bit flimsy I thought the door for my liking but that's what it is on the front of the unit there's also another compartment this is where the tools are kept there is a brush and then we have the spray nozzle itself now I was quite impressed with the spray nozzle firstly it's nice quality the trigger action is smooth. You don't need to put too much pressure on it to pull it in. So if you're a little bit elderly, I think that will be fine. It will lock in as well. And on the front, you have four different nozzle patterns. We'll look at those in action in a moment. Next to that, we just have a basic brush that clips on the front. It does have this unique clip action, so you can't use other third-party accessories, unfortunately. But it's nice that they include that. Moving to the top of the unit, very basic control, simple on off switch battery indicator, and then a three stage power setting. When it comes to the filler nozzle and cap, nice to see that it's double filtered. I like this part because you've got two different choices. You could fill this up with a watering can or to take the top cover off, and then you have a hose pipe adjustment, which makes filling it up quite a doddle. 
I am rather ashamed to say that I don't know the capacity of the internal tank. It does seem quite large, but you do have these viewing panes on the side and also at the back of the unit so you can keep an eye on the level. Of course, you can use this straight from the mains. You just simply leave your hose pipe connected to the filler plug and then away you go. I'm going to fill mine up about halfway and it just took a few minutes. Next, I attached the hose. Simple to do, just a bayonet fitting. However, again, this is a unique Bosch fitting. Um, if you did damage your hose, a generic one won't work because they normally screw on, so you'd have to buy a replacement through Bosch. As I mentioned, the battery arrived with some charge. I just needed to top mine up. Took about an hour and a half to get the three bars green. You then can set the power setting. There are three different settings. Of course, this is never going to be as powerful as a mains washer. I've set the power to maximum and the unit does switch on and off when you squeeze the trigger automatically. Now, as I said, this isn't as powerful as a, an electric mains washer. It's not powerful enough to jet wash your patio, but then it's not as noisy as a mains washer. I'm going to shut up now and you can listen to the unit in action. Only got some power it's much more powerful than a hose pipe right let's move on and use it to wash my car going to be using uh, auto glen polar wash for the first time this is a snow foam cost about 12 pound 50 on offer on amazon this is the adapter that i got i explained this is 27 pounds quite a lot but it is a unique fit for the bosch unit you can't use generic ones and i think that's a bit of a con and i wasn't particularly happy with this bottle and i'll explain that in just a moment as for snow foam you may have heard of it you may not have heard of it what it is is a concentrated soap that you spray onto your car you let it soak for a couple of minutes and then you jet wash it off the idea being that it removes all of that fine grit and dust from the paintwork before you hit it with a mitt or a sponge and hopefully it cuts down or eliminates all of that micro scratching that can make your paintwork look quite dull when it comes to attaching the detergent bottle things started going a bit wrong here firstly it said use full power which i did do and it didn't tell me what nozzle setting to set the gun to so i just used the fan setting i put it onto the gun but it didn't really fit with a very secure click like the brush did and when i tipped the gun all of the product started coming out now, I'll be honest, at this stage, I thought it was me being a bit of a knob, being unfamiliar with the product. I did read the instructions again, and it simply says you push it onto the gun until it clicks. Okay, maybe I'm being a weakling, I wasn't putting enough pressure on it, but I then turned to the feed pipe to find out why my product was all coming over my hands. And here, it's bloody obvious, they haven't put a rubber washer on the top of the feed pipe. So every time you tip the gun, there's nothing to stop the liquid coming out and that is a god awful design especially for something that's quite pricey as far as getting these clips to click well i'm buggered if i could do it and i put a lot of pressure on it so in the end i thought well just have to be blind faith and hopefully it will stay on and i won't get covered in polar wash and in all fairness it did work so let me just speed this up and you can see the washer in action
and yeah the washer did really well here it got all of that nasty grit and dust off the car and then i was able to use a mitt and wash the car as usual so conclusion time what do i think well it's done a nice job on my car but in fairness the car isn't very old and it wasn't all that dirty it was just dusty um i could have done the same thing with a hose pipe to be honest and i think probably in the summer that wouldn't be a problem in the winter when i want to get the salt off the car i think then for me it will be worth it as for the pump itself yeah i mean it's absolutely fine really i mean i've done that um car there let's have a look at the battery there we go i don't know if you can see that so that's been on full power and we still have two bars on the battery so it certainly would last a long time things i like about it i like the fact that the tool compartment is in the front and that can store the uh, store the tools i also very much like and i didn't realize it had this very much like the hose pipe fitting there very easy just to top it up halfway through also the way it works very much like a luggage you know your you in-flight luggage you'd have at the airport very easy to manage even when it's fully loaded with water when it comes down to the accessories well the supplied accessory the brush it clipped on quite nice it was very tight and it held on which was a good thing it's okay it's not brilliant um it's got this great big hole in the bottom where the water comes out so it all just squirts out in one direction it would have been nice if they could have diffused it a little bit so some of the water went up to the top of the brush it's nice they supply it mm, yeah it's okay wasn't anything like as impressed with this uh snow foam adapter or detergent adapter as you saw it was very difficult to get this to clip on it didn't clip on as well as the brush it was very loose and then there being no seal in the cap every time you tipped it all of your expensive detergent or snow foam came out in fairness once the motor was working and the jet washer was in operation it did do the job it did apply the snow foam um yeah so it did work but 27 pounds no they're taking the mickey if that was 9.99 i'd let it go but it's it's overpriced and because it has that unique fitting there isn't really any other option if you want to use snow foam so i'm going to bring this um one to a close and that was the bosch fontus 18 volt portable battery powered jet washer i hope the video has been useful to you as i said at the beginning it's not funded it's not sponsored bought that with my uh, own hard-earned money and I hope if you're thinking of getting one, this has shown you it in action and it's been helpful. If so, just drop me a thumbs up down below before you go. I would appreciate that. I'm only a small channel. I don't get that many views. But as always, thank you very much for dropping by. Thank you for your view time. Cheers, and I'll catch you on the next one.